surprise, Iranian people love United States and Israel. You may say, what? What are you talking about? I've seen those rallies. They say death to Israel, death to USA. I must tell you, those are old clips. And even then, it was done by the government forcing its employees to come on the streets and shout death to America and death to Israel. They have not been able to even do that recently. I want to show you a clip. Just a few months ago, the government of Iran put Iran put U.S. flag and Israel flag on a sidewalk, forcing the people of Iran to walk over them to dishonor the flags of the United States and Israel. Now, see what they did. Can you look at it? They, they are bypassing the flag. They are being careful not to step and dishonor those flags. The crowd of people are sidestepping not to do that. And at the end, when a couple people do that, you know what people are shouting? They're shouting and protesting and they're calling them, excuse me, bastards, bastards, bastards. They are disapproving even those two or three people who are stepping on the flag. My beloved, God has done something supernatural in Iran. God has turned the hearts of Iranians against Islam. They have seen that Islam is full of hatred and violence, and they do not want that. Their hearts have been turning towards Christianity and United States and Israel. They hate to hate. That's why the loving message of the gospel is so attractive to Iranians. And that's why so many Iranians are coming to Christ these days. Would you pray for Iran? Would you pray for the salvation of Iran? God is doing his part. Would you join us so we do our part to present the loving and peaceful message of the gospel to Iranians? They are ready to receive that if we present it. God bless you.